Greetings, everybody. And uh, I'm actually continuing, making another video, continue, continuing it from the last one. Holy smokes. You know what I want to show you? I'm going to get right into it. Oh. These, what I got recently, these are all newer books. These are all, matter of fact, these are Wolverine. All new Wolverine number ones. But they're all variants. I got a great deal on this stuff. Well, this is not. Uh, this is a. Uh, this was part of a uh, comic book that you got with the uh, action figure. This is Wolverine. Uh, I mean, uh, X23 from uh, X number 451. Okay. It's not not for resale, but I. Obviously, someone was selling it, or else I wouldn't have it. I didn't steal it, I buy it, yeah. But it must have been for sale. Okay. Here's, uh... And I don't know who all the artists are, so... I'm just going to show you the covers here. This is, uh... Well, somebody will probably uh, tell me who, who, what variant it is, but there's another one. Nine ninety-five. See that cover on? I mean that price there. Two for nine ninety-five. All new Wolverine. I think this is the uh, design variant where they des design the different costume and stuff like that. This all the, the cover price is what you see here. Everything was half price. Here's the action figure variant. For the new Wolverine X23, there's another one. Great moogly googly. Here's another one of the other. Here's another one of the other. Wolverine number one. And I think they call this the hip hop variant. Oh man. I have no use for this whatsoever, but you know, it was in the whole pile. Hip hop variant. Yeah, what up man? What up man? Uh here's a blank variant. Well, I guess somebody, uh, one of your favorite artists got something on there. Here's something from, this is from the cargo hold. This is a nice, uh, I like this one.
I do like that cover, yes indeed. But I think she might be looking a little bit too old, older in this one. It's a great looking cover, but... The same one, but obviously a sketch variant. These are all number ones of the uh, all new Wolverine. I don't know how many copies of that I have now. I showed you about what four, five. There's another action figure variant. Here's another costume design variant. All new Wolverine. This one I like too. The hip hop variant, which I do not like. Anybody want to buy it? I really did show you this. I have no idea what a, which one we call this, but uh. It's uh, Art Adams. Arthur Adams variant. And another link. What else did I get in that whole batch? Oh. I believe this is the uh, first appearance of uh, Mr. Bloom. A bunch of those. I got a bunch of number 42s as well, but I think 43 was the first appearance of uh, Mr. Bloom. And that's coming to, uh, the whole story thing is coming to, uh, the story arc is coming to a head very soon. Bear with me for a moment, I'm trying to look at something. Oh yeah, next month. This shows you a preview of next month, who is Mr. Bloom? So this must be the first appearance of Mr. Bloom. At least I did not call you Mr. Bloomberg. <laughs> then you would be in trouble. bunch of silver surfers I picked up. This was uh, some kind of a big story arc that went on back in the uh, 90s, I think early 90s, with the, with the Defenders. This is Silver Surfer. I gotta get the rest of these. I gotta check to see if I have them. This is, uh, hey, Silver Surfer number 50. Got the foil cover. Here's another Silver Surfer number 50, but this is a, a... Let's see, what printing is this? I think this is the first printing. This one is the third printing. This, I believe, is the first printing.
And it's got that whole uh, story arc going between, you know, uh, Galactus, the Silver Surfer, you know, and Thanos, I think, is involved in this. And uh, I haven't read it yet, but uh, there's issue 44. It's got the, the, the Defenders are in this. Fifty-seven. That Thanos there with that grin of his. Infinity Gauntlet crossover. Here they are, the Defenders. <laughs> I love this cover. 58. Might be worth checking out. It's supposed to be a great story. story yeah. So, here we got all that stuff. Maybe now I can put this stuff away. File it. Boy, it's been a rough, rough year last year, man. Really rough. A lot of stuff going on. I mean, not all of it good either. You know, and I... Have you noticed recently... Comics now, even from the independent companies, they're all going up to four dollars. They're all, you know, DC is moving everything up to four bucks now. And it's all going to be four bucks across the board. The Marvel is already, you know, moving towards four to, uh, five dollars a book. I don't know. I think uh, a lot of people are going to drop out of uh, or cut back. Maybe and some probably will drop out of collecting, but uh, and it might deter some newcomers from getting into the hobby. But uh, I think that for sure a lot of people are going to cut back, and maybe some people like myself, I've cut back. You know, when I first started really getting heavily back into uh, Collecting and you know buying doubles and triples of the books, uh, not all the books, but of my favorite books. So that I always want to have a copy that I can read and one that I can file away, and then maybe one if uh, to use to to trade or to sell. So I was getting three, and then I started just buying two of all of the the books that I like. And now I'm down to just buying like one, with the exception of just maybe three or four titles. Batman, Spider-Man, and then maybe some other ones that where I get two copies of every issue that comes out. But I've dropped a lot of titles. And I've went, you know, from like in 90, uh, in the early 90s, I was uh, starting to buy, I was buying, spending something like 800 bucks a month. <laughs> I mean, after the discount, it was... Uh, no, that was with the discount. I was like eight hundred dollars a month, and at some, you know, at, at sometimes, but not all the time. But you know, there were times when I was spending that much money, and I just couldn't do it no more. I gradually cut down and cut down and cut down, and then there was the big crash, ninety four, ninety five. Everything collapsed, and you know, everything crashed, and uh, a lot of stores went out of business. A thousand stores probably went out of business during that time period and publishers went out, Valiant, Malibu, uh, a host of others and then by that time I was uh, down to about 500 a month. Now I'm down to about 300 a month and when I was spending, you know, eight hundred and five hundred dollars, I was making money. I was making, you know, good money and a lot of money, and I, you know, it didn't hurt me. 
But those days are gone. They're over with and they're gone forever. I'll never be able to spend that kind of money anymore. You know, I mean, I got, you know, money that saved where I can, if I wanted to uh, spend 800 bucks on a book, I could. But it would take me a couple of months to catch up again. But to spend that much every month on new books, those days are gone forever. And now they're going up with the price. Four dollars across the board, you know, and maybe five dollars for Marvel pretty soon. I'm going to start collecting less and less new issues and start collecting more and more back issues from the Bronze Age and Silver Age. And I think that uh, companies are going to hurt themselves. You know, I don't know. That's just my opinion. But uh, pretty soon I'll probably be cutting back even more. And I'll get down to about, I'm trying to get down to about $250 a month. And that's after my discount. So I get like a 30%. 30 to, 30 to 35% discount. So I'm still uh, actually retail. I'm st still spending quite a bit of money. But uh, I'm at least, uh, oh, here's that cork I was looking for. At least with the discount, you know, it comes to a lot less, but even so, I still can't afford it that much. And I'd rather spend a lot of the stuff that's coming out is ridiculous. The artwork just sucks. I mean, Batgirl, I had to drop Batgirl because, and I was liking that series for a long time. Now it's geared towards, uh, I get the feeling that when I pick when, when I pick up a Batgirl book and I look through it, that it's geared towards teeny boppers. It takes me back to a time when uh, teeny boppers were the thing. I can't read that book. And then some of the artwork and then the direction that a lot of the books are going to restructuring, rebooting, renumbering. Starting it over again, I it's just it's just nuts. I understand the company's got to do something to stay viable in a digital age. They got to make money and stuff like this, but I mean their number one obligation is not to people like me and you. The number one obligation is to the stockholders. They got to show the stockholders that they're making money. Anyway, well, one man's opinion. Look at this hand soap. J.R. Watkins, that place, that, that thing's been around for 150 years. 1868. Cinnamon, very strong. Well, anyway, okay, so that's it for right now. Uh, and, uh,. Oh, I'm going to be doing a, I found a, a bunch of my, uh, huh, can you believe it, my golden age uh, jungle comics. You know, I, I mean, I had, I had a few that I knew where they were and stuff like that, but I found a bunch more that I've been looking for for a few years, you know, in this world of stuff back there, and uh, not that I was you know, forcibly searching for those books specifically, but I'd always spend a little bit of time going through boxes every day, you know, or every uh, every week, you know, hopefully maybe finding that box of uh, Golden Age Jungle books or some of the other Golden Age Timelies that I know I have. <clears throat> but uh, I'm not going to ransack my whole place just to find those books. I know they're there. So anyway going through that gradual process and relaxed process of going through the uh, boxes every once in a while here and there I finally came across the rest of my Golden Age Jungle Books so I'm going to show those off and uh, do a video on them 
quite interesting especially the covers especially the covers and uh, some of them have some curious history to them and uh, I'll be sharing that with you in, uh, in another video coming up pretty soon so stay tuned and thanks for watching and live long be well take care folks